Hello judges of TSA. This is our video game Aliens Invaded Your Planet. Let's start. One peaceful day on Earth. Aliens invade. They didn't seem hostile, but it seemed like they had an objective. The aliens flew down to Earth and hid four treasures that led to a magnificent magnificent artifact like no other. And you want in on that act. Now let's see. Place. There are four options. Play, setting, drop, and quit. Play. You go to the game settings. You can adjust your settings here. Full screen, graphics, volume. The volume is a little bit high so let's turn it down. Then you can go to the shop which we'll get into later. Let's click play. First, we should do the tutorial. Your goal is to avoid the obstacles to get the treasure. To avoid the obstacles, use arrow keys. The character will move by itself, so focus on dodging. Press B to become a ghost slash untargetable for two seconds. As a ghost, you won't be able to pick up power-ups too. The heart gives you health, the ghost gives you extra time on your ability, and the boots make you go fast. Press space to continue. Now as you can see, you can use the arrow keys to move up and down, and you can also you have to avoid the arrows. This is the tutorial, so it will be very easy, but if you're in a pickle and you're in a rough spot, you can press B and watch. I can go right underneath this. But if you see, if I get hit, the top left my health goes down. So you want to avoid them as much as possible. Now, if you see, if I pick this boot, I go super fast now. So that each different power-up has different things. And look, if I pick up the health, my HP goes up too. Now, we have to wait for the next phase. This is the next phase. This is the quick action phase. If you keep collecting Y before the boulder smash the treasure, you'll win. So now, I'm going to press space. And now, I have to click Y as fast as I can to finish the circle. And now, look, I finished the level. Now that's the tutorial done. First, let's go to level select 1. The aliens hid the first treasure in the depths of the Amazon rainforest. Go conquer the temple and find the treasure, but beware the splitting boulders. So let's do the first level. Each level has their own gimmick, and that's what the last uh, line was alluding to. There's always a first phase, and then the second phase, there will be a special gimmick. In this level, the gimmick is that some of the obstacles will split into three obstacles. Now let's see it. I'm avoiding them pretty easily. And see, look, that obstacle just split into three. I'm in a pickle, so I'm going to press B and go underneath them for two seconds. Now I'm back to vulnerability. And if you can see, the bottom left, that's the cooldown for the timer, and once it's full. I'm in the quick action phase. I need a quick Y, and boom, I got it. Now let's go to the next level. As you can see, I got one gold from that. And once you get enough gold, you can use it to buy the shop. But right now, it's getting pretty easy, so let's just keep going. Congrats, you finished the first level. Now you must conquer the harsh stands of Egypt. The aliens hid the treasure in the Great Pyramid, but they set up bouncing boulders to trap. Now it's this level. This level is a desert theme, and each each level also has a specific theme. This level is desert, and the last level was rainforest. And it's pretty obvious. That in this level, the gimmick. Is that some of the obstacles bounce up and down, and it gets pretty hectic very quickly. As you can see, the obstacles are bouncing up and down, and I'm losing my health. Quickly. Now, it's a quick action phase. 
Boom! I finished the level, so let me press Y to go to the next level. Level 3 is based on an Antarctic theme, and let's start. Can you withstand the cold of the Antarctic? Because the icebergs were a perfect spot for the aliens to hide their treasure. Be careful of the snowy rocks that turn invisible. Now another cool feature in this uh, game is that you can go zoom in, but it's not really useful, but if you want to make the game a little harder. Now this level is an especially hard level because the boulders, they turn invisible, but they don't go away. They just turn invisible. So you can't see them, but they're still there. You have to keep track of them with your brain. And that's what makes it hard. And if you lose track, you can easily rack up damage. But if you stay calm and keep track of the boulders, you can easily do it. Quick action phase. And bravo. I finished the level. Now let me do level 4. After all of the harsh environments, it was nice for the aliens to go somewhere calm. The grassy plains seem easy, but the boulders move backwards. Now this level is very interesting because the boulders come from the behind too. So you have to try and avoid it. Oh no, I took damage. I'm taking so much damage. Ah, uh, it looks like... No! I got defeated. Now, if I want to restart, this goes for all the levels, I have to press R. Now, I think I'm struggling with this level a lot. So let me press escape, and let me go to the menu. Now, I want to buy something with my items. So let me see the options. I can buy... The bundle of hearts, which gives me 6 extra HP, that's very useful, but it's the most expensive, and I don't have enough coins. The spooky hat, two sec which gives me 2 seconds of ghost mode, and the wing boots, which gives me 5 extra speed. Hmm, I'm not using my special ability a lot, so I think I'm gonna buy the wing boots, but I'm gonna hold on and see if there's anything else I can buy. Oh, there's a tips and tricks area, let me click it. If struggling in later levels, use your coins to upgrade. To get more coins, repeat earlier levels. Well, I'm very, very close to getting uh, the bundle of hearts. So I'm going to repeat the first level two times to get this. Then surely it will be super duper easy to beat the level that I struggled to. Now, you don't have to get the health upgrade. I'm very positive that each level is doable without getting any upgrades, but it's just so people who struggle with the levels can make it a lot easier. In my opinion, the health upgrade is the best upgrade, which is why it has cost the most money, but other people might like using their ability more, so they might like the ghost hat, or they might like going faster to avoid the obstacles better. So they might like the wing boots. But in my opinion, the bundle of hearts is the best. Now I'm going to do the quick action phase. Four coins, one last time, and then I can get the bundle of hearts.
now I have five coins. I'm gonna go to the shop and buy the bundle of hearts. Successfully bought. Now, see, look. Um, I might have thought, oh, that was a bad decision. I want to buy these two. But since I don't have money, I can't buy them. And since, even if I did get five coin gold again, I wouldn't be able to buy it because I already bought it. Now, let's beat level four. After all the harsh environments, it was nice for the aliens to go somewhere calm. The grassy plains seem easy, but the boulders move backwards. Now, let me just take damage at first to show you. Look, my health goes down barely because I got six extra health. That upgrade will come in very useful. And these upgrades last for every level, so you don't have to be worried about using them up. Now, a common, uh, when we were designing this game, something that was our biggest problem for after we finished most of the mechanics was balancing the game, where making it not too easy or not too hard. Now, as you can see right now, it's kind of a hard game, and before it was even harder. There were boulders flying everywhere. And it was really difficult to beat the level, so we tried we tried uh, uh, making it easier for about a week, and this is kind of the Goldilocks one we find out. It seems there is one final treasure. Find out what treasure really, what the treasure really does, and persevere through the scorching volcano and get through this chaos. This level is absolute chaos. It's based on a volcano, and every single gimmick from each past date will be in this one. So you have to be really prepared. It's the hardest level yet. In the beginning, it's kind of easy, but then it starts to ramp up very quickly. That one combines three separate gimmicks. The backwards boulder, the splitting boulder, and the bouncing boulder. Oh, oh my god. the doodle. Taking so much damage. Let me use my ability to focus. Oh, there. I just made it. Hurrah! I beat the final level. What? All the treasure you caught seems to be combining. It made a key? Maybe this key fits into the final chest. The key fits! What's inside? A crown. What is it for? One of the aliens is approaching you. It says whoever found this crown would be someone fit to be a king. And now that you found it, you are our leader. The end. Thank you for playing our game. It was made by Manu Jampana, Kishan Angadi, Advait Sarampa, and Mitho Sarkadi. That was our game. Thank you for watching this video. If you are the TSA judge. And I hope you enjoyed our game.